My name's Wayne Collins, and here's my I Don't Know Cavossi exclusive cocktail. What I've got here is a glass full of crushed ice. What I'm going to do is add a little splash of pastis into that. Now, pastis got a little bit of aniseed, floral notes, quite herbal as well. It's going to work wonderful with a Cavossi exclusive. Some sparkling water, that's going to help to open up some of those flavours, to chill the glass down so it's nice and cold and very aromatic. Then my mixing glass here, I'm going to fill with ice. I'm going to be adding a couple of dashes of Pechore bitters from New Orleans, when the Sazerac was first created in the 1850s for the Sazerac Coffee House. It's kind of an improved version of the old brandy cocktail, but using more aromatic bitters with a wash of the pastis and finish with a lovely lemon twist. So you want about three good dashes of this. Add just a little bar spoon of sugar syrup. Just add a little subtle sweetness. That's going to help to kind of harmonise the flavours, reduce the alcohol expression a little bit, make it easier to uh, more drinkable. Then I'm going to add some good old Cavossi exclusive, a good large gentleman's pour. Straight over the ice. Now the briskly stir this for around 10 or 15 seconds. Tip this ice away from this glass, and what you're gonna have in here is the little rinse of the aniseed, the pastis, very herbal, very floral characteristics. I'm just gonna gently strain into this chilled glass. No ice required, this is a very classic way it will be served traditionally in New Orleans. So I'm gonna finish with a nice zest of lemon all over the top, around the front and back, straight in there. And there you have my Cavossi exclusive, I don't know. Today I'm going to be doing a little twist on a sidecar, which is a classic drink from London 1920s, um, using Cuvazzi Exclusive. To that, we're going to add some orange liqueur. Now I'm going to do a little twist on this, of course, fresh lemon. So what we have here is just our classic sidecar. You could add sugar to the rim of the glass or to the drink. But instead of sugar, I'm going to add some lemon sorbet, which will add sweetness course, but it'll also add a lovely fluffiness to a sidecar. This is what I've called the candied sidecar. So again, giving it a little bit of a modern twist with some lemon sorbet in there. And then we shake this up. into a chilled cocktail glass. And as a garnish, rather than lemon zest, I'm going to add some orange zest to this, so just some of them essential oils over the drink. Nice twist, and leave it in. So I've called this the candied sidecar, and this is my I don't know self for Vazi exclusive. So this is my I don't know. I'm using a number of different ingredients just to really bring out the flavours of the exclusive. I'm going to be using caramel, ginger and passion fruit. Great friends that go really, really well together. I'm going to start off by just hollowing out the passion fruit and just making sure that all the lovely juices and seeds are in there. And that will give the, the drink some really great texture. Start off with just 10 millilitres of caramel and toffee liqueur, and 10 millilitres of ginger cordial. Honey will sweeten it up a little bit, but also add some real spice to the whole drink. On top of that, 25 millilitres of passion fruit puree. Passion fruit caramel go really, really well together. And just a little bit of lemon juice. This will just balance out the sweetness of it. And in here, there'll be around about 15 millilitres. So, then a really good healthy glug of exclusive. There's about 50 mils in there. And then 
turn together with crushed ice. And the crushed ice will water the cognac down a little bit and it will really bring out those really good flavours. And this will spread the seeds out. So, top that up with a bit more ice. Two straws and the other half of the passion fruit is garnish. And that is a bittersweet symphony and my I don't know cocktail. I'm going to do a twist on a classic brandy book. So I've got half a lemon squeezed into the bottom of my glass. With the other half is entirely up to you. Heads up. Right, what I'm going to add in the top of the lemon is a scoop of ice. Followed by a nice generous measure of Cavazier BSOP exclusive. Like so. And then top it off with some ginger beer. Give that a quick stir. I don't know. What do you do now? <laughs>